What's up everyone, it is Baron here today. We're gonna to be doing a video on the Polaris and its intended purposes, but, but before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell to get all those notifications, join our Discord and comment hashtag giveaway if you wanna join our ship package giveaway. If you've already gone and done that, you don't have to do it again. And don't forget to check out all the links in the description. So we're gonna be going over the Polaris, one of my most favorite ships and a lot of other people's favorite ships. So it just makes sense to do this video. So we're gonna be going over why you can use this ship for why you use it and the intended uses and just some uses you could probably just think of using. I mean, it's all up to you. Let me know in the comments what you intend to use it for, but I know I'm gonna be capitalizing on this ship as much as I can since I will be getting it with real money. So with the Polaris, it's going to have an intended purpose and it's gonna have a lot of unintended purposes and a lot of um, sort of purposes that people are going to use it for because you know, it's that gameplay loop is there. Now. I know for me, having those size 10s and the little missiles, it's going to be an amazing ship. I know a lot of people love the Perseus, I will do one on that later on. But with this, you could probably go and do some piracy. So when you're doing a little bit of piracy, you could go to miners, you could go to cargo haulers, data haulers, any sort of uh, operation that is hauling some sort of cargo. Now you can also grab that cargo and you can could put it in the Polaris or have another ship uh, come with you so you can go put the the cargo in the other ship you could have an msr if it's data as well so you could then get that data and put in another ship but a lot of the servers on these ships do have a data kill switch so it sort of does kill it but we'll see how that works over in the long run so you can also do small cargo hauling as it does have 28 what 238 seu but that could be used for food and rations and whatnot for uh, long expeditions out in space so you could use it also to escort bigger ships and smaller ships so like an orion in idris you could use it with an idris and then go and attack an, a, a kraken or another uh, ship of a great magnitude that you know the polaris just has that distance and it has that attack power to be able to help with those sort of operations you can use it for mining protection like an orion um any other sort of like uh, mining operation, the prospector, um, just because it's such a good ship and it's so versatile, it's so large, it has a lot of intended use with those weapons, uh, the turrets and whatnot, obviously you can make a lot of money of it and it's gonna cost a lot of money to use this ship. Now you can use it for bounty hunting as well, I would say, but then again, you might not want to use it for bounty hunting because using it for bounty hunting would then mean that you probably won't make as much money as you would like. You could probably use it for NPC bounties and then you could use it for player bounties over in the long run, depending on what you really want to do in that sort of perspective of gameplay. Now, like I said before, you can do escorting, but you can use it for private security services. So you, like I said, I like packages. So you could put this in a ship package or some sort of a bundle where where you can offer a service to someone for private security and you're like all right i've got the polaris here i've got my banning merchantman i've got a star runner i've got these other ships that you know you can use this with i mean they're just they're not good examples but they are just some examples you can use this ship with you could also put it in with an idris m or an idris p depending on if you have those ships available so you could also do pirate protection so if someone's doing some piracy and they don't have a lot of ships to go with i mean obviously pirates are going to go and they're going to be prepared they could pay someone else that sort of fee where you can go and protect them and help them do what they need to with their operations which it probably highly unlikely but you could do it but like i said you, with the protection you could you uh use it to protect an endeavor uh, any sort of mining service any sort of um, data collection as well because obviously those ships are going to be quite vulnerable and they're going to need some sort of a help now you could do bounty escorts so you could escort criminals you can also um, like escort them to where they can go and hack a crime stat possibly it's all up to you since the ship is heavily armored you can go and also use it for uh, jailbreaks i mean to use this as a jailbreak ship and to use those missiles and torpedoes to destroy turrets and sort of has it as a protection ship you can also put a smaller ship in there to then get that smaller ship to go down and possibly pick someone up and bring him up to the polaris and then go on your way so you can also use it to and this is just like a vaguely an idea to destroy ships for the reclaimer to come and salvage components and whatnot to then go and take to the crucible to repair take it to the endeavor and bang there you go you've got a component that you can then just go and overclock and sell it maybe even just put on one of your own ships now another one i've been going on about is hiring the ship out to people now like i said hiring the ship out to people could 
greatly affect your income. It could be like a business opportunity as well since a lot of people are going to be having um, uh, what is it, Palatorian, and they're going to have a Legatus pack where they can then put a lot of those ships into packages and then hire them out to people. They do talk about the ship share program at PO, which I do talk about a lot. I'm just really interested in sort of this type of game loop where you can rent ships out, where you, like when you go out to a ship rental monitor or stand, and then you can go and hire a ship. Obviously, having the Polaris would be a greater cost per day or per hour. So really thinking about how much money you can make on top of that ship, it's just no, it's a no-brainer. I mean, at the beginning of when the game first comes out in full or when the Polaris comes out, there might not be that use for it, but eventually later on when you have that money, you'll be able to then get that ship out in the sky or even hire it out to someone and then some sort of package to then hire it out. I love talking about packages. I know I love talking about hiring it out, but it is just one of the biggest selling points of this game. I would say we can actually get a ship, hire it to someone, make money, make like ridiculous amounts of money and do as you please. So comment down in the comment section below. Tell me what you're going to be using the ship for and how you intend to capitalize off of it because it is a large ship. But I hope you enjoy this. This has been Baron. I'll see you in the verse.